the alarm. Oh my gosh, I had a terrible dream. So, hopefully my phone charges more. But I'm up and at it, and let's just get this day started, guys. Day two, day two, day two. Alright, we got this. Let's push. Oh gosh, that dream was terrible. And I just got done drinking some really cold water. But still, you know, your girl was <laughs> winded. But, alright, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Hold on, let me show y'all. Like, I'm literally... Yeah, that's what I had it for 425. So, I can stop it so it won't go off. I'm kind of not really tired like I was yesterday. So, I'm excited about that. We'll say Tuesday. I'll just take it off so it won't go off. Yep, and I'll just put it back on later so I won't forget. Alright, y'all, let's get this day started. So, this is my breakfast. Hubby has this waiting for me when I come down. He's in there watching Walking Dead. He's a night owl. I'm gonna put a little adobo on nose and have my bacon and my cutie for lunch. And I'm getting ready to get my water out the freezer. sitting here eating breakfast and I decided to go with a little bit of hot sauce. I don't know if I'm going to eat this. Um, I really don't have much of an appetite in the morning but being that I'm working out I want to make sure that I put something in my belly. You gotta eat something. Mm. Mm. That's my breakfast. It's 442. Um, I got a few minutes to eat this my snickers on and head out the door let's push ladies we got this let's take it one what somebody say one second one minute one hour one day at a time yep so every hour i'm trying to do my best to do my best uh, all right y'all so y'all edit you i'm sorry but this bacon is life abundantly <laughs> i'm sorry I don't know, it's something about bacon. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It's here. She is up and ready. We are off, off, off. Morning, Mom. Good morning. <laughs> Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we are off. See y'all when we get to the gym. Here we are here. We are here. Oh, it's so cold out here. Um, heat, the massage the joints, muscles, the people, the lines. Oh my gosh, this okay. Me okay, yeah. Fantastic if you got like back pain. I or, do. Yeah. So do you recommend before or after? After. Okay, okay. Because if you mess around and do it before, you may not work out. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, um, no. And he said this one is for like cellulite and all that great stuff. Oh Good my time. gosh, okay, okay. I'll be with you in one second. Okay. We are stretching, and she's over there stretching. Because <laughs> we didn't stretch yesterday, we just got on the machines. And we're gonna just do cardio today, take it easy again, and then um, get a massage. So mom, as you touch, try to, more, the more, just a little bit. Yeah, and just hold it as far as you can, and then just do it again. All right, y'all, I just started my um, thing. It's 524. He actually gave us a little tour, as you can see. So, all right, y'all. So, I had to mute the music. You already know. So, we are going to do about 40 to 45 minutes on here, depending on when the guy leaves, so we can do our massages. So, let's get this cardio in. show you guys my burn once I get out of here. I'm over there. She a 
in that chair, sir. <laughs> okay, this was my burn for today. That massage felt so freaking good. See you guys later. I am home. It is. Oops. Still got my calorie thing. It is 6.43 in the morning. Did you guys see that? So I'm about to shower and, um, yeah, get my life together. Our workout went longer because we had that tour and then we still did like 43-ish minutes on the machine. So that's why I got in a little late today. And then we did the massage after the workout. So, yeah. All right, talk to you guys later. You can see my nails in today's confession. I didn't end up eating this before I took my little power nap. So I'm going to eat this bacon and this. And that's what I'm going to be taking with me. Um... I got get ready to do um ahead so yep that's it's like 10 18 so it's time for me to go and hubby made this so i'm gonna snack on this and my orange and i think i might bring some trail mix in case i get hungry or olives probably olives let's see okay so i'm gonna take the olives and almonds with me but i'm about to eat this right here now so in case I get hungry or want something to munch on, I'll have those. And I'll probably, I think I'm going to take another one of these with me. Yeah, so that'll be for later and then one for now. Let me see. Yep. All right, y'all. Look what my client has. That plant. I cannot remember which one of y'all told me this is a good plant to get that grows fast and is good with um, maintenance. You don't have to really do too much. She is about to let me get some pieces of this. I'm about to get this long piece right here and propagate it. More plants. Mm-hmm. So I'm about to get some. Y'all see when I'm done. Y'all see what I get. All right, y'all. I'm so excited. Bye. But no, we actually managed. requested from my hubby so he went and got me some more of those so sweet and good um, some more grapes bananas oh i gotta wait for them to ripe i can't eat them tonight but and some more of these we need this for um tacos and some sour cream so those are the items a little bit of mini hard stuff that i requested and then these and i will talk to you guys about these later um and my during my um confession so y'all i am getting ready to eat some leftovers and i'm not hold on could y'all see me jeez oh, i'm not going to overdo it but i'm getting some mac and some um collards and and um some of the roast Yesterday, I'm starving. As you can see, I just left from with my client, and we had an appointment for my daughter, so it's been a busy day for me today. Um, so we haven't. Oh, I guess the collars are gone. All right, now ain't no more collars. Gown, y'all, gown. Oh well. So this is what I'm going to eat because I'm not going to eat my, my other food until a little bit later. So I'm eating. Um, some pork roast and some mac and cheese. And I'm going to continue drinking my water. Put that in for two minutes. Continue drinking my water. Um, and later on, um, I'll eat my chicken salad probably about 8 o'clock because it's 6 something. And then that's it. I'll have my um, peanut butter on my um, Rice Krispie tree and probably some grapes or orange. One of the two. Later. So guys, I put the um, plant that I got from my client in water. Did I do it right, y'all? Did I do it right? Y'all see? I cut where they said don't cut the um, parts like with the little bulbs on them. So I cut like that and I put them in water. Tell me if this is right. Yeah. So that's how I cut them. And I'm hoping that these do really well. We shall see. I'm just gonna set them up there. Are they deep enough? I didn't want the actual leaves to go in the water, so I guess we shall see. We shall see. Yep. So that's what's going on, and um, that's it. 
basically my oh I want some blackberries I'm gonna try some of them while that's heating up I'm so hungry I had that orange y'all seen them caramel cakes I showed y'all they were good when I first tasted them but then they had like a aftertaste mm-mm mm. I'm eating black brew Him. type of stuff I snack on and if I do have a craving for soda I'm gonna stick to my ginger ale I haven't had a craving for soda be honest with you. Ooh, I haven't so I'm good on that um but yeah that peanut butter and that um dum rice cakes has been coming through for me oh I hated this too much it wasn't that much for me to heat it for two minutes so see it's not a whole bunch not a lot so that's what I'm eating trying to get this moderation thing down because I am not going to deprive myself I like food good tasting food yeah I will try to be more healthier with the options of it and try to switch it up but at this point like I told y'all I'm getting there y'all I'm getting there I need to cut up that celery carrots because I want to have those available to just dip in some um some ranch and uh yeah I got to share the food haul, so I'm probably going to share the food haul with y'all and how I package my um, snacks this weekend. But I also have a, um, my, um, my, um, Lord, why did I just get a brain freeze? I also have my um must have for working out and for the gym what i must have so yeah i wanted to share that too so let me get off of here and eat this food and go take a shower every time i go out my house and in, in the elements i take a shower even though i took one earlier I'll take another shower so i'm getting ready to do that and i will chat with y'all later all right this is a snack i brought up now i just got done eating the macaroni and the pork roast i refilled my cup of water with some more water so I'm going to drink that and, um, yep, put this on the side of my bed and have this, y'all, y'all will hear more details in this confession on why, but y'all don't understand, but y'all see why. It's something that I deal with and I'm trying to work through it, so I'm going to share that with you guys, but this is my snack after my meal and, um, I'm not going to be eating the salad and I'll talk more about that, um, later, basically, this is going to be um, my snack and then um, my later, later snack, probably about 8 or 9 before bed. Then I'll do the peanut butter um, rice cake because I got to have something sweet. So, yeah, but we'll talk about that later, guys. This is what I'm munching on. I never ate the cutie from earlier when I said I was done with my dinner. I had the grapes in this. So, I'm going to still have that sometime later, but I'm eating my rice cakes and peanut butter and watching some Netflix movies. So, yep, I will stay tuned for confession. I'm sorry. My TV is loud. <coughs> Excuse me. Stay tuned for my confession. Excuse me. Oh, I went down the wrong way. Stay tuned for my confession and that will be the end of my night and then I will be starting my next day guys see you guys in the confession well good evening this is our day two <clears throat> and um yeah so first thing i wanted to talk to you about is i don't know what it is but i have this this I, I don't know it's not strange addiction or not. I don't even know what to say like every time I eat food salty like a meal macaroni the, the the barbecue meat no matter what it is a meal period I have to have something sweet so my sweet today was the grapes I didn't eat the um, little mandarin tangerine whatever you want to call it it's still sitting there um, and then I just literally look forward to the rice crispy snacks with the peanut butter when I tell you guys them rice crispy snacks with peanut butter changed my whole life like it's so much better than me eating a whole bunch of chocolate chip cookies chocolate chip muffins cheesecake whatever you know what i'm saying even though they're made by me it's still in what i'm trying to do it's 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 better um 
So I definitely look forward to those in my day, having those in my day. Um, yeah, my meals are not sort of not planned, meaning like through the day. Now we know we cooking as a family for dinner, period. Now today I was so hungry, so hungry. You guys see when I ate for the day, um, I was so hungry, took the snacks. I didn't even eat the almonds when I went to, uh, my clients. I just ate the, um, what is it? The olives. I ate the olives and did I have grapes? I can't remember, but you, you, whatever was in the video, yeah, I know for sure I didn't eat the um the almonds. They're still in the bag. So um, I was telling her that I love the rice cakes and I love to put the peanut butter on them, whatever the case may be. I was so excited about getting the bananas, but unfortunately, you see that they're not ripe. Um, she let me try those rice cakes. I said I was going to talk to you about this. She let me try those rice cakes, and they were so good. And then they had like a caramel buttery taste, and I was just like, oh good but then they gave me this taste in my mouth that i've never tasted from them i hate how manufacturers and food companies change food so much to the point it doesn't taste real anymore everything tastes processed or fake those rice cakes from aldi's are so freaking good they're not over sweet they just enough caramel they're thick it's like feel like you eating something it's like better than me getting a piece of bread and putting peanut butter on it. You know what I mean? So it's just like light, fluffy, and it's giving me that sweet um, craving um, that I need. It, it gives me what I need for the sweet craving. So the caramel cakes, I have to write notes. Like if I go through something through the, during the day and I want to express more of it, this is going to be my way of um, just like making sure I talk about it. So then, um, yeah, I I was so hungry when I came home. I didn't have time for my husband to boil the eggs and, and saute the chicken. I really was hungry. Like, I don't know. It was an overwhelming hunger. Like, I could just eat anything. Like, that's the point. So, that right there is a lot of times where we screw up. Now, I could have binge ate a lot of things. But you see, instead of going for, we still have chocolate chip muffins here. We got ice cream. We got cereal. We got uh, still uh, Girl Scout cookies. A lot of things are still here. I grab blackberries. I grab grapes. I grab stuff to fulfill that craving that's different from my, from what I normally grab. Guys, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm not perfect, but I'm telling you what I'm struggling with. I have a problem with sweets. It's no different than a person that have an alcohol problem, a cigarette problem, or some form of addiction. It is the same. You will go through withdrawals. Your mind is going to tell you, go get it, that you need it, that you want it, that, oh, wouldn't that be good? You're going to get that. But the other part of your brain is going to say, no, 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 you can do it. Hold off, hold off. And it's going to give you that other option. That's usually the quieter part of your brain. <sighs> um, I was so tired today. I went went to the gym, came home from the gym. I like to pull all my videos off for, from the beginning of the morning. And my thing is I'm going to start taking a power nap. If I don't have to do here at a certain time, I was supposed to be at my clients at 930. And I told her, let's do 11. She was fine with that. Perfect. It worked out for me. Um, it actually worked even perfect um, because my husband was able to get the kids from, uh, well, not from her after school activities. And then we had an appointment after that for her. And then, you know, everything just worked out as planned. So, um... It was just crazy for me today because I felt so energetic when I came home. And then by 7.30, y'all got to remember, I'm getting up at 4. By 7.30, I literally turned my phone on silent and I went to sleep. And I think I woke up at 10.08 and I was out to go um, to go do her hair. And there was another errand I had to run before her. Um, and I was there to do her hair by 11. And then I was they're done, you see, I did her hair, whatever the case may be, and um, I just could not wait to get home to get in the bed. I couldn't wait to get home to get in the bed. I did not take my vitamins this morning. I was so mad with myself, like, oh, should I take my night? Should I take my morning? Uh, uh, uh. But certain vitamins give you energy and do, you know, give you a boost, so you don't want to take them at night. So I'm like, uh, what I'll probably have to do is take my vitamins, because I got water already, and put them right by my bed, because it's best to take your vitamins on an empty stomach. So I'm going to take my vitamins and put them by my bed. Now, the juice, the minerals and stuff, I feel like if I forget, I can just guzzle that down when I come home from the gym. But I definitely want to make sure I take my vitamins in the morning before I start my day. I forgot. I forgot. 
And I'm not saying that that because I didn't record it because I want my vlogs to be a little bit different every day. So I'm sharing my little bits of what's going on. But um, all this week is going to be cardio. We're going to be trying to amp up the cardio and do different things with cardio. And then next week, I'm going to see how we're going to implement more. You know what I mean? Um, I know that my mom and I can't stay doing the same thing. You know, she's older than me and I have to take it more slow with her. But I still want to make sure I find something a regimen that's good for her and and her you know at her uh pace that's going to be good to to give her results but also not make her feel overwhelmed and feel like it's too much but i also know that i have to rep up rev up my um workouts as well but i'm going to pace myself you know what i'm saying i'm going to pace myself slow and steady runs the race i'm, I'm gonna pace myself i promise y'all it was so much i wanted to do i said oh i should do this i should do this i should do this. i want to break my jump rope i'm gonna do i said i'm gonna get into it let me ease my body into getting back into this thing please don't do it because my thing is i would do too much for myself and then i would be upset if i don't can keep it on so i just want to ease my way into it and slowly but surely figure out the best way for me to get my full body worked on in different ways and cardio is a full um benefit to your full body but i'm talking about the uh, focus points the arms the glutes the quads the different things like that um the abs and different parts of my body i want to um start focusing on those as time goes on so what i would do is um just like i got my little mini tripod try to bring it to the gym and just go in certain areas of the gym and plus i'm there so early it's not a lot of people where i can set my camera to the side and they can kind of give you a snippet of every exercise i'm doing and i guess i'll talk about them and tell you how much i did of each in the video that's my plan and it'll kind of be sped up like okay i did the treadmill then i did the, the cybex then i did you know arms or legs or whatever the case may be and share with you like that that is my plan um so this i showed you guys i wanted to talk to you about this because i do not know who introduced I know who introduced this to me when I was pregnant with Rizzy. I stayed constipated, stayed constipated. That pregnancy and that constipation and my dizziness and nauseousness was the worst that I've ever had in any pregnancy. Um, I was constipated so much that they introduced this to me. And every time I would go to emergency room, they would give me this. And so my husband and I was like, huh. one of the nurses told us that, you know, you know a store and so from that day on i knew this was a good way to but it says sugar free i don't know i don't know and 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 listen i've done this before i've tried this before i know how this works i've done this being constipated before i've done this also in times when i knew that um i was getting ready to go on a journey i wanted to remove all that waste or if anything was just sitting in there i would definitely um Sodium restricted diet. I don't have that. Notice a sudden change in bowel habits of magnesium uh, restricted diet. Stomach pain, nausea, vomit. Nope. Um, I noticed that um, if I use this, it will clean me out. Also, um, Epsom salt, but I just can't. That taste that Epsom salt. You could do Epsom salt and you can do um, natural. I would do natural organic baking soda by Bob Mills. That's what I would do. But I'm not sure. So that um this um is something that i'm more than likely gonna take so it can clean me out and if you've ever had surgeries most of the time now i'm not saying all but most of the time they will give you this if you have like a colonoscopy or something going on like an intestinal surgery stomach surgery or some type of main like real evasive surgery they will make you drink this to clear you out so that there's no fecal matter in your intestines in the hospital and this stuff works it will have you i remember when i first drunk this i was like Ooh. And it's not like my stomach hurt or nothing. It just, it gives you a bowel movement and it's to the point where, um, it like goes through that intestine and just pulls everything that ain't supposed to be in there. So if you have a, um, you might want to consult your doctor. I'm not an expert. I'm just telling you what works for me, but you might want to consult your doctor. Cause I know it says if you're on a salt restrictive diet, cause I know magnesium is like salt or whatever. So just like you could take a salt laxative, like I can do salt water. If you drink salt water, it'll help push through, but this gives you a flavor, like sort of like a Sprite slash alka saucer taste. So I, I just... I have to hold my tongue, my, my nose. It just got to say, okay, 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 you can do it, you can do it. Drink, 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 drink. And I get it down. And within that day, most of the time, it gets out whatever it needs to get out. So 
those are the things I wanted to talk to you about. And that was my day for today. And I'm going to still be chugging my water. I have some water left in here. And eat that little mandarin. And that's it. I'm not going to be eating anything. Because after this show goes off. If I don't find something else good. My goal is to be in the bed no later than 10. Um, so yeah. That's what I'll be doing. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions please leave them below. Guys and thank you for pushing with me. Thank you for the comments and everything. I will be getting to your comments. I've been so tired. I get on that computer to put the footage on there to make sure I get these vlogs to y'all because I want to get them at six in the morning. So if you wake up early or get home early and you can't quite sweet sleep and you need something to watch, this can motivate you hopefully to do something good for the day. You know what I mean? Or start your day off good. Um showing you that I'm pushing with my two hundred and ninety pounds. Okay, I am pushing. It is not easy but i am pushing so i want you guys to know that we all got this and ladies let's push all the ladies who said they down and they're doing it with me let's push ladies let's go on to day three all right